Okay, so this is uh, semester two, or semester one, 2010. All right, we've got Sparkly Glass, which is a window cleaning business that is owned and managed by Neville Ammonia. Uh, Nelly Ammonia, I should say. The business started on the 1st of April 2009 and has been in operation one year. The following information has been provided as at the 31st of March 2010. We've got a list of accounts, we've got some balances. We're missing a capital figure here, but that's okay. And then it's giving me some additional information, which is two motor vehicles were purchased by Eddie Car Sales on the 1st of July 2009 for 45000 each. They had appreciated using the straight line method and they each have an estimated residual value of 5000 and a scrap value of eight years. The loan from the Bank of Riches is a 15-year loan. 15000 is repayable on the 31st of November 2010. So it makes some of it a current asset. Okay, so it says prepare an income statement for sparkly glass for the year ended 31st of March 2010. Okay, before we prepare that income statement, we need to make a couple of calculations first and we need to do some classifying of our accounts here. So let's do that first. What would we classify employees' wages as? Now, because remember we're doing income, expense, current assets, current liabilities, non-current assets, non-current liabilities, and equity. Okay, so that's our classification. So what about employee wages? What would we classify that as? Expense. What about rent expense? Prepaid rent? Current asset. Motor vehicle expenses? Easy. Motor vehicles? Non-current asset. Loan from the Riches Bank? Non-current liability, but it does say down here that 15000 is a current liability. Yeah. Oops, I put my the current asset because it's repayable on the 31st of the 10th and we're doing our balance sheet for the 31st of March. So I'll just put a little slash there and go current liability. Interest paid on loan. Expense. Cleaning fees revenue. Income. Yeah. Drawings by N ammonia. Equity. Stock of cleaning supplies. Yeah, current asset. Capital. We don't know what it is. Bank overdraft. Current liability. Cleaning supplies expense. Uh, easy. Accounts receivable. Current asset. And accounts payable. Alright, so we've done most of the work. Now let's just work out how much depreciation and accumulated depreciation we should have in relation to these two motor vehicles. So, so let's do the calculation. So uh, my motor vehicles are 45,000 each. So we've got um, calculation. And my depreciation calculation, I've got 2 times 45,000 is my cost. Uh, scrap is 2 times 5,000. And my life is 8 years. Now my depreciation calculation again is cost minus scrap divided by life. So calculation. So I've got equals 90,000 equals 10,000. So I have 90,000 minus my 10,000 divided by 8 years equals 10,000. <laughs> Yeah. That's $10,000 per annum. Now, what do we need to work out? We've also got now, we've got that our cars were bought on the 1st of July 2009. So we haven't got a full year because our calendar year starts on the 1st of April. Or 1st of April. Yeah, 30, ends on the 31st of March, so that was last year. Um, so we now need to know for the 1st of April. So we've, how many months have we got? We've got 
July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Hang on. How many, how many am I doing? Nine. Nine months. I'm glad you know that. So, uh, depreciation expense... equals nine months out of 12 times 10,000 equals 7,500. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So are we ready to start? Do we need to calculate anything else? Not just yet? Okay. So what was, what's the first thing I need to do for a, my income statement? Because we're doing question A, which is prepare an income statement for part sparkly glass for the year ended 31st of March 2010. Big clue there. 31st of March 2010. Okay. Income statement. For sparkly glass. For year ended. 31st of March 2010. One mark. Okay, so what's the first line of my income statement? Uh, yeah, income. <laughs> That's right. Income fees. So how much are my income fees here? Uh, 150,000, so there you go, I'll put that in. I'll put that all the way over this end. Now do we have any uh, cost of goods sold? No we don't because we're a service business in this one. Uh, so where's our other expenses then? Less expenses. So my expenses would be employee wages. And my employee wages is 50,000. My rent is 8,000. Prepaid rent is there. Motor vehicle. My motor vehicle is how much? 16,000. What's my next expense? Would be interest on loan. And how much was it? I was going to make a note of that. 4,000. Uh, have we got any others? We've got some cleaning supplies for 13,500. Any others? No. That must leave all my balance sheet. So I need to add those up. So I got 50. <coughs> Pardon me. 8,000. Oops, I need to put a plus in there. Plus 50. 16. 91,500. Ah, yes, I did. I forgot the calculation that we just worked out, which was 7,500. So I'll just put in depreciation, 7,500, <coughs> I'll just squiggle that line out, plus 7,500 and it gives me 99,000, which I just got told, 99,000, so therefore my net profit will be $51,000, and that's my income statement. 